Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to get power to a Simon XTI and an XTI5. So right now my Simon XT is, has power, but my Simon XTI5, I actually powered it down. And uh, I'm basically going to show you guys how to apply power from scratch, right? So whenever you get either of these panels, they actually come with the transformer already and they come with a let's say a pre-wired uh, 18 gauge I think it's either six to eight six it's six to eight feet long but um, it is an 18 gauge wire 18 by 2 gauge wire and it already comes if you'll see one end here it show one end is gonna have the two splice wires and I'm gonna show you what the other two ends look like once I open up the system because I actually have the wire already fished through my through my uh, sheetrock right over here so what I'm gonna do first is uh, usually you would have the um, you know the system not mounted on the wall but mine's already there so I'm just gonna show you guys what we would do from scratch right so you would take the cut the uh, the trim off now usually these two tabs here are latched into place you just got to lift them up and it unlatches them and you could just pull away Woo. and this is what the other two ends look like right so these two ends are, are what's going to go into my panel. These two ends I'm going to use to go into the transformer. So I'm going to go ahead and put this off to the side for now. Now the transformer you get, you do want to make sure that you use the one that comes with the actual Simon XTI or XTI5. Um, it has two terminals. This is an AC transformer, so polarity does not matter. You can basically, you don't have to worry about getting a positive to a negative, right? So it's just terminal to terminal and then terminal to terminal on the actual system itself. So what I'm going to do right now, my screws are loosened up. I'm going to go ahead and connect one end. You will need a screwdriver for this. So I'm going to go ahead and get one connector in there. I'm going to screw it down. Make sure it's locked into place. Go ahead and get the other one. Screw it down. So I have my two connections to my AC transformer. Yeah, if I tug slightly on them, they're not gonna come off. They're perfectly fine that way. Now you do not wanna go ahead and plug this in yet. You do not want these two ends to be live. So we're going to leave this unplugged for now. We'll plug it in at the very end. All right. Now, like I said, this wire that comes with the panel is about six to eight feet. So if you guys need to extend it anymore, you guys can splice wires into the other ends. But make sure that um, don't make sure to first of all to use 18 gauge wire, 18 by two gauge wire. And also make sure that you use the exact extra wire that you need. Don't leave extra wire just hanging around, right? So just make sure, however, measure out the length that you need extra and just add it to the very end of this. And then that way the other ends can plug into the system. Um, now, these two ends right here on the default wire that came with the system are going to plug into the 9 VAC in. There's two terminals on the actual Simon, uh, well, on both panels. Again, this is the same setup for both panels, by the way. Um, there's two terminals that are labeled 9 VAC in, which these wires are going to need to plug into. So all I'm going to go ahead and do, since my wires are a little loose here, I'm just going to grab them, group them together. I'll grab these as well just kind of group them together so it looks like one solid wire that way it's easier to put underneath the terminal now when you're setting this up if you're just doing it at a desk mount or anything like that make sure that you actually wire the hole in you see, mine's already mounted on the wall but there's little holes right here on either side um, I mean you're probably gonna want to use the one here because that's the one that aligns with the EC with the terminal block on the actual Simon XT's on the Simon XTIs and the XTI5. So 
you want to make sure you fish it through the back plate first because what happens if you just install it straight into the system you go to put the back plate on then the wire is going to get caught between the actual back plate and the actual panel itself so you want to make sure you fish it through the hole so it's a clean easy install all right now like i said we're going to go ahead and install this to the terminals so my terminal blocks you need to make sure they're loose so that they go in yep they are going to go ahead and do one end hold it in place tighten it down grab the other one goes underneath the plate tighten it down slightly tug on both wires they're both securely set now the backup battery you want to make sure before you apply AC power the backup battery is plugged in it's this little black connector piece it simply plugs in <clears throat> you don't need a screwdriver for this it just plugs in like that next thing you do go ahead and attach the hinges fish the wire through the hole put it up locks into place then you can put the trim back on to complete your install and uh, last thing left now is applying power so this is going to be the Simon XT XTI or XTI 5 transformer uh, and I'll be right back let me go ahead and plug it in as soon as I plug it in you should see power to the XTI 5 soon as you have power, uh, if this is your first time powering on the system, if you see a low battery message, don't be alarmed. That's just because the ba backup battery in the system needs to be recharged. You usually want to give up to, I think the manual said up to 32 hours for the battery to recharge and then the low battery message will go away. Um, mine was plugged in before, so the backup battery is actually already charged up. But usually if this is your first time powering up, you will see a low battery um, low battery message on the system so that was just a quick easy way to get power to the Simon XTI 5 it's the same process for the Simon XTI it's the you know the same transformer it uses this comes with the same cable and it has the same uh, terminal block on the actual back of the panel all right if you guys do have any questions feel free to email us at support at alarmgear.com Make sure you hit like if you found this video helpful, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon to enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys are notified. Thank you, guys. My name was George. I'll see you next time.